get uh, admitted in Jamhuri High School. <laughs> <laughs> Next door. <laughs> Next door. Next door. I was like, okay, this is this is interesting. And I remember my the first time I went to Jamhuri High School. I remember this guy who was like a Hulk. He was so big, he was so muscular. And I saw him uh, behind the school, the classes. He literally, you know, me, uh, we were rearing, the, the school was rearing some, some poultry. Mm. The guy pulled out chicken through the, the wire mesh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him. He put the chicken and he put it in his bag and closed his bag. <laughs> when it was still alive. <laughs> <laughs> you are like where I think is this what school is this that I've come to <laughs> I take it from where you are coming from it was a downgrade <laughs> hey. I was like God this place I can't survive <laughs> so I went home I told my folks by the way I don't think I can survive in Jaburi High School. They are crazy people in Jaburi High School. <laughs> <laughs> they are huge. <laughs> they are rough. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, hey, I remember, I mean, I remember, uh, you know, we used to have watch movies in the, in the hall. Yes. It so was a day school. It was a day school. Yeah. Um, so, it had a big TV. It was put in front of the hall for us now to start watching. Mm. And in 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 split of a second, the TV was gone. Guys, <laughs> 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 the hush. They had buried the TV. The TV is gone. <laughs> we looked for it the entire school. It was gone. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay. There were crazy people in that school. <laughs> and uh, I mean. For me, Jamu, <laughs> uh, I, 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 in Form 1, I later fall in, fell in love with it. Mm. Because it's a, I was such a nice guy, calm guy, who's got into this school that yes. is so rough. <laughs> you know? And it, it really, it was not about academics. It was about life. Life. Mm. It was about life, socializing. So I remember like when I joined drama club, yeah. I used to enjoy it. A drama and we've practiced the whole season it's time to go for drama fest so we enter the bus and then um, one of the seniors enters and he's like he stands he stands uh, in the middle of the bus inside mm. he's like is there anyone here who cannot speak to a lady if you can't speak to a girl you get <laughs> off the bus <laughs> Never spoken to it again. <laughs> <laughs> not even one in seven seven that you even, speak, no, <laughs> not even that one. messed up your your, your never. <laughs> I never had a girlfriend. Nothing. Yeah. I was like, it's time for me to go. But I was like, no, I'm just gonna stay here. <laughs> I will not raise my hand. I stayed inside. My friend, when you when the when when you go to the drama fest and. People are leaving and saying, now it's time to conquer. Let's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> do. <laughs> My friend, and, and the seniors are watching. Mm. They're especially watching us from one. Yes. Ah, oh, man, I mm. remember I had to, I, I found myself in front of St. George's girl. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I did was to smile. I did not know what I was doing. <laughs> Thank God, I was met with another smile. <laughs> so <laughs> so we, we, we just, we just, we, we, I was like, I mean, we are talking now. Yes. <laughs> so, but, but, but Jamu taught me, you know, to be social, mm. to speak to anyone, that you can be thrown anywhere and you've got to speak to people who are strangers, mm. which later on it's such has become huge. such an important uh, skill set uh, uh, in my life. Yep. I mean, I've, I, I've, I've, I've gone to so many countries to to talk to investors yep um, I, I, I remember one we went to Luxembourg mm. and uh, when we landed there we just got aware that there was a huge investor conference going on uh, and they had no representation from Africa and 
I remember working really hard to get for, for, to get admitted. It was literally the following day, so we were too late. Mm. And I went to the office and I was like, I'm here, I'm from Africa, can I at least show up for Africa? And they're like, we'll make an exception for you. They even paid for me, uh, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm, I'm, I enter there, I mean, it's a sea of white people. And you, you have these name tags uh, on everyone. Mm. And you'd see a name tag. And you're like, hey, that's a very huge fan. And you're like, you like, you know, you've got to stop this guy. Mm. You've got to start a rapport with them, a strike a rapport with them. You've never met them. Engage immediately. Engage immediately. Mm. That was because I went through a school called Jamu. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> and also to mention, in Jamu, again, now, again, different social class. Of course, a lot more Africans, or yeah. predominantly Africans. If we still had a lot of Asians oh, you still because did, yeah. of it. Uh, because of the area. Yeah, because of the area. Yes. We even had, you know, warriors, uh, mm, Somalis. Yes, yes, it's, yes. Again, nice mix. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Ah, that's wonderful. Okay, tell me a little bit more about Jamu in terms of, in terms of um, how it formed you, academics. Because uh, it's four years and I know high school, are there some lifelong friendships that you made there? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so Jammu, I have, I have two faces in Jammu. Uh -huh. When I joined Form 1, um, something called adolescence was just hit me full blown. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, 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 it, was, it was a school that used to thrive beyond Monday to Friday, mm. you know. So uh, I was introduced to Jam Session. Mm. You know, I, I was like, I love this, something called jam session. And I loved it. Because mm. personally, I love dancing. Mm. I enjoy I enjoy music. I've always enjoyed music. And I've always, you can see my drama fest, all yes. these things. Eh? So I was like, wow, this is really good. So I'd go to church in the morning, in the afternoon, I'm in mean, jam mm. session. Mm. What, a, what a conflict, mm. you know. Uh, so I, I was part of this clique of guys who were... The, the 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 guys who attract crowds, mm -hmm. you know. So on Monday, we are the ones with the stories. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So everybody is with the cool us, kids. You know. The cool kids. We are mm -hmm. the cool kids, mm -hmm. you know. And and I didn't realize I had such influence. Uh, again, the leadership aspect eh? mm -hmm. from a child. I found again I was leading a group of people, uh, and they were following everything that I was doing. Mm. Uh, but it was all about, you know, having fun, um, especially on Sundays, mm. uh, would come back. We, 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 we had fun, but we had nice fun. Yeah, I get it. Uh, because it, we also had some nice rules that we put in there. Number one, you know, no alcohol. So you drink, your, you drink one Fanta from beginning to end, mm. <laughs> you know, you are also broke. Uh, number two, you can have a girlfriend, but don't get involved in things, you know. Mm. Uh, so it was just a show off girlfriend, end of story. You know, the relationship was very shallow. Uh, and it was like a, a written code amongst us. So let me ask her, yeah. this sounds like you enforced your personality and your values um, into your clique. Yeah. And that shows me a different style of leadership. Yeah. So, you know, they're the leaders who can be Guys, you're very noisy in terms mm. of your outspoken and uh, then there's the silent leaders, the yeah. ones who lead, but from the exterior, people can't tell that they're the ones who are yeah. leading. The, yeah. uh, was it like, explain to me what kind of leadership skills you thought you... Uh, it wasn't like um, I was telling people to do this or that. People just found it easier to follow mm. me and other people and other people and other few people. Uh, and, you know, whenever there was something that had to do with fun, Paz was one of the guys we need to have. You know, you know, you know when you're putting mm -hmm. together your team, you must have fires inside there. You know, you, put, you must have fires inside there. So I, I I I had my moment there. But it's time showing up at home. And I start having conflict with my parents. Mm. Why are you on Sunday? Why are you coming home late? Yeah, why are you coming home late? Why are you coming from? I remember one why day. Why are you smelling like smoke? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you are. <laughs> I remember my dad made this observation that, oh, this guy, there's somewhere he goes on Sunday. So he put a, 
Kafiu. Like, Kafiu. Kafiu. You must be in the house by 7. <laughs> and I was like now I've got to go I've got to go now for my last jam, jam session to say goodbye. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a perfect day because my dad had gone to Shanks. Mm. When I came back my dad was at home. Past 7 or past 7. Oh past. Oh, hey, going to 9. Mm. <laughs> and my mom i met my mom at the door and she was like you're gonna be killed today. <laughs> <laughs> today, you're gonna be killed and she was it was not like it, she, she was worried she was worried for me <laughs> <laughs> she was like, this small guy this, this big guy this guy is dead <laughs> <laughs> so I I I I I was like man I'm dead. <laughs> First of all I saw his car and I was like I'm ah, dead. Over. Then mom just finished. She had forced today you're going to be killed. I sit on the kick. <laughs> I sit on the kick. So I entered I entered the house and my dad was showering and I sat on the couch. Then my dad came. Then he was like what did you agree? I said dad you went to shower and I was here. <laughs> I literally I blatantly lied. My dad was like you're making me look like a child. I stood firm. You by the time you're going to the shower I was here. <laughs> so he was like he knows he knew the truth but he knew uh, let me let him not pursue it any further. Uh-huh. So I could see this conflict at home. and there was a conflict inside me uh-huh. a battle inside me now my values the values that i had grown up with um and what i was doing i could feel it my mom never really said anything to me but she looked at me in the eyes and the more, every time she looked at me there i knew mm. we had a, there was a gulf she was asking me so many questions in that one look mm. Mm. and it was really disturbing me really disturbing me so one day one day i woke i woke up and i said it's over it's over that life is over when i was in form 2 late form 2 i remember going to school and i told my friends it's over what and they were like who pious Uh, we'll see you next weekend <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next weekend it can't be true you know what it was over it was over done dusted sealed done dusted now i formed a, a study group okay hold on let's take a two minute break <laughs> uh, we come and continue with this sir so.